girls, welcome to Ohio. We're gonna jump off here and Hubbard, run in a truck world, get me some fuel. I was thinking about washing the truck, but it's not against it only because it's possibly raining tomorrow, not raining, snowing uh, tomorrow, and, like on and off flurries or whatever, I don't know, but the roads will be nasty. Decided against it. It ain't really super terrible right now. Going up there to Michigan and go look at this piece of equipment. Um, I don't know. It's funny. Like I'm trying to pump myself out of it. Really, I don't want to go, and I should. And it makes sense. And I might be hyping you guys up over absolutely nothing because if it turns up being a dog, I ain't gonna buy it. Then. I won't uh, do nothing with it, but, you know, I might, I might not, I don't know. That's the stuff rattling around in my head trying to figure out what I want to do and how I want to do it. Internal mental confliction. That's like a dollar fifty. Vehicle on shoulder ahead. That's like a dollar fifty-ish less than it is in Pennsylvania. That's insane. Smokey Bear would let that truck stay there if he was pulling him over. He'd tell him to get down the line and then do, do what he's doing somewhere else. That truck probably broke down. If I had to guess, that's that'd be my guess. Love's over there. It's like 334 a gallon. Yeah, that was a regular trooper too. That's not a DOT. Well, I, you know how that goes. They're all DOT, but there's the ones that only mess with trucks. That ain't them. The DOT guys are the ones with the lettering on the side of the cars in uh, like that baby blue color. And I do need to put the winter front on before we go that while we're fueling. I want to take that space. I don't want anybody to tell me. Looking at this truck tomorrow, another uh, semi truck, and then this other piece of equipment I'm looking at. Buddy, tell me if this radio is working. It's just not convenient to buy potentially a truck and a piece of this equipment at the same time. But I need them both, and they'll both help me with the content for sure. Well, one will help me with the content a lot more than the other, but they'll definitely useful to shop which is also content so that's it to beat my head what to do how to do it so here we are thinking 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 my best friend Bino will tell me all the time he's a he's refer to these trucks as think tanks that's all you do is you sit in them and you think in your head in a six different ways trying to figure it all out 
Alrighty. Let's get our fuel. system you see up on my windshield so we're there within the stroke of the wiper what that is I may as well address it now we buy our express uses uh, for mileage for your fuel taxes if all that a tracker on the truck that for us with an exempt truck like this just keeps track of the mileage where it goes fuel tax reporting what it also does so right now we basically have dual dash cams we've got the dash cam over there which is all that is an event tracker for lack of a better term and the one that I have right here the Garmin which is right there well some will ask well, how come you're going on with that? Well, it's simple. I'm not worried about what goes on in front of the truck and how I react to it. Now that unit I've seen with other trucks, they all have them, all the company trucks have them. It records events that it thinks might be something that each drive or something. Now I had conversation with, with my Express about it 
I'm not really concerned because it's something that the parameters of which triggers an event can be set. So, as far as my driving habits and skill, I'm unconcerned. We will never run driver facing cameras. And if you run for a company that has driver facing cameras, I suggest you sprout a pair and tell them to get F. And that's the conversation that I had. So that's the way that's working. It helps with insurance rates. And to be honest, insurance, although the fact that as far as I'm concerned, not much better than a Ponzi scheme, it's necessary evil. But in order to prove that our drivers are not the cause of the crash, it's good to have a reliable, a reliable proof of that. So there we are, dash cams. Problematic? Well, believe you me, we'll address it. You can you can bet your bottom dollar on that one. So right away down in Milwaukee to the rigger yard. Great, uh, uh, what's it called? Big red machinery movers. They're gonna take delivery of this crate. Then I'm gonna call in, find out what's cooking freight wise whether it's outbound freight or whether I'm just going to bounce home and wait till the end of the week to reload. To be honest, the way I feel, I just want to go home. I did decide to drive the 100 and some miles all the way home just to turn around and come all the way back this morning. I didn't want to be on the road in a truck for no reason. So it's nice to be home for a day. Plus, I had to get some stuff done on Orwell. Plus, install our little camera. That got done, so we're happy. So I ate the mileage. I'll probably have to do the round trip or at least trip back up again. As of Friday, they told me there was no uh, no plan for outbound freight, but that don't mean it doesn't pop. See, this is the kind of nonsense, right? That wasn't that close, but it wasn't that smart. The car at least picked up the throttle and got stepping but that's the kind of crap that could trigger an event now the company truck i drove it beeps at you when it sends something in i don't know if mine will beep or not i don't know how to change the settings in it frankly i don't really give a care i've been with wigmeyer express since 06 been driving for 25 years I have no major accidents. I've had nothing more than a handful of fender benders. And I mean by handful, I mean less than five. You can't stop people from crashing into you when they ain't paying attention. So, my record speaks for itself. And I feel that our records should speak for themselves. However, the federal government, as we all know, has pushed good drivers out of the business. The remainders, like myself and a few others that I know, still around, have to fight the system that they create. Or you have idiots that crash into trucks, all you have to do is watch this. And you can see you're going to crash into a truck. Like the crash in uh, New Hampshire in the truck stop. Sorry, but if that driver can't see something that obvious, he shouldn't be driving. Matthew called me before I got going this morning. He's working on getting his video he took yesterday on uh, uh, uploaded up to me so I can start looking over. He went to go look at a truck for me. I don't want to say much more about it. But we're looking on expanding the fleet to something that basically is in better shape than Orwell was when I bought them. We simply need tires, brakes. Hopefully the engine is sturdy enough. And we're looking to put another truck on the road. Matthew went and looked at it for me yesterday. And uh, we'll get to know something. It's a truck that a subscriber owns that would love for me to purchase it so he can continue watching the truck know press on in life even as he can no longer drive it 
that way he'll see his truck live on. Me and Jen already talked about it because of the color that the truck already is painted. We already know what we're gonna name it, how we're gonna, what kind of graphic we're gonna put on it. It's gonna be slightly different appearance in style than what Orwell is. And uh, I think initially once we get it running, assuming we buy it, initially once we buy it and get it running, I'll drive it while Orwell starts getting more of a major work done on it. And then eventually we're going to put a driver. I'm never putting a driver in Orwell. I don't ever see that happening. But eventually I want to find an old school driver that knows how to handle old school equipment and to be frank would enjoy driving old school equipment. This truck will be a this truck I'm looking to buy will be a, a type of truck that the average steering wheel holder will absolutely despise and hate, which I like because I don't want a steering wheel holder. What I want is a trucker. I want a genuine driver. I want a driver that actually, just like Orwell, old school. You got to know to turn your headlights on. You got to know to put your blinkers on. This is not my exit. The next one is. You gotta know to know these exactly like that. You gotta know to cancel your own blinker. You gotta know to turn your wipers on. You gotta know all of that. Our old school driver. The truck will be fun to drive. I feel it would be a whole lot of fun to drive. And uh, we'll for sure turn heads. So in the end, I will be looking for a driver. Now there is a driver I know of that I'm that I communicate with fairly frequently. Actually, I actually haven't called him in a little while. But he's certainly a qualified driver to drive anything that I operate and would be qualified to drive for with, you know, a truck running under the flag of Woodmire Express. So as long as he doesn't have any recent tickets, DUIs, or anything like that, and kept his nose clean, he'd be, uh, I wouldn't even have to train him. He would just jump in a truck and start driving. So... That's part of the buildup that I'm trying to do so that we have driver, a, a driver ready to go. So I was the whole thing about getting a mechanic in the shop full time. There's a lot of stuff that I've been planning that I really haven't been talking about. And in fact, even this morning, another idea came into mind. And this, this idea would drastically help me. Again, I wish I felt better. Man, I'll tell you, after events of three years ago or two years ago, or however long that whole deal went down, I tell you, my colds, when I get sick, like a cold, they're worse by a lot. Or they're not that bad, but they're more frequent. And I'm friggin' tired of it. Whatever it is, what it is.
funny how the Google Maps car picked up on the stop sign. See on the thing? Picked up the stop signs on the side street, not the main street. Either that or it thinks it wants me to drive on the side street. Or the Google Terminator machines just don't know how to tell side streets from main streets, so when they come to get us all, they'll be stopped at the signs. We'll be able to keep going. Google Terminator machines will stop. And then they'll go. That'll give us a little bit more of a, a head start, so to speak. Is it this one? Yeah. I have a bad feeling. I always have a bad feeling. Ah, we're all right. Nipped the curb, then hit it. Just the corner. Had a smooth edge for ramping up, like wheelchairs and stuff. So. Oh, let's see here. I think this is their dark. So we're gonna back into the door opposite their loading ramp docks there. We've gotten loaded by these before. We've had been unloaded by these guys before. And every now and again we'll unload at their place. There's their 379. I think they recently added that lift axle to be honest. Could be wrong. So that's the door we're backing into. Now right there's the dock so it's not straight in. And then we gotta go in at an angle. I good? No, how the... Smile and wave. Smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. Do you think we should tell them that the boat's out of gas? Nah, just smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. Alrighty, and for my next magic trick. <laughs> kind of like backing into a black hole, huh? Yeah. 
We'll just park the truck there for added uh, skill level testing. There we go. I was wondering how much heaving and hoeing we're gonna have to do to get that off. One more time. All right, not a fun part. Boy, I'll be out of here. Yeah, yeah. Happy Monday. <laughs> 